Hi Forest Schoolers, it's Mrs Stiles here. The book I'd like to read to you for World Book Week is Imi by Karen Littlewood. There are lots of tiny treasures to look out for on the pages, see if you can see them. Oh, it was cold, and the icy wind blew, and the snow fell and fell. Imi looked around her, but all she could see was a frozen white world. Imi broke a hole through the ice and fished for her supper. Just one more, she thought, in case anyone comes round, which they hardly ever did. But instead of a fish at the end of the line, she found a little wooden bird. It was so beautiful. She'd never seen such colours before. And she tied it to her necklace next to a small white bear. The next day, Imi fished a red flower. Then an orange starfish, a green leaf, a purple feather. And soon her igloo was the brightest thing in the land. It could be seen for miles around and before long visitors came from far and wide to look and to wonder. They always stayed for supper and they filled those long dark nights with stories of faraway lands. And Imi's world seemed a brighter and more colourful place. Then one day the ice began to melt. It was time for her to leave. But just as Imi was about to go, she stopped and put her hand to her necklace. She took the small bear and gently dropped it into the water. Then she turned and left. Far away, a little boy walks across the beach, holding the brightest thing he can find. He throws it into the waves and wonders, as he always does, where it will go. But this time something catches his eye, shining in the sand. It is a beautiful small white bear. He picks it up and holds it. Then he hangs it around his neck, where a little wooden bird had once hung. Did you find the tiny treasures? So I've got some tiny treasures that I've been collecting. Come a little closer. In here, I found some interesting shapes and colors around me. I've got a poppy seed head and a seashell and sea glass and a beautiful buttercup as well. And look at the colors on the forget-me-not. Beautiful bright blue. I wonder what I could do with these tiny treasures. Maybe put them on a special Mother's Day card? Show someone you care? Plenty of possibilities, but in the meantime, I'm going to keep my tiny treasures in this little matchbox. Save them for later. I hope you enjoyed the story and I hope you enjoy World Book Week as well. Bye!